Hey Oliver, thanks so much for sending through your video. Firstly, what an amazing setup you've got at home. The paddock, the post, the setup. Um, really cool to see that you've just uh, made some posts out of PVC pipe, the black dot. Um, really, really cool. There's no excuse for you to get out there and not be kicking each week. So excited to get through this review and awesome to see you using the RB Vortex kicking tee. First thing I want to talk about with your technique is your posture and how you're setting up for your approach. So what I'm really liking with your goal kicking technique is that you've got your chest, your hips, your feet and your head, everything going towards the back of the ball. This controls our energy, it tells our body where we want to go, there's no wasted energy, there's no different angles that change, so a really good thing. As you're coming into the ball, I really like this little hand cue that you do, almost like you're pushing a rugby ball out. It's actually a drill that I use, so you can think about holding a rugby ball. Often we can kick the ball really out of hand when we're punting the ball downfield and get a really good strike. Sometimes when we put the ball on the tee, we lose that really nice ball flight and, and good good feeling on the foot so it's a nice cue as you're coming into the ball to think about holding a ball pushing it out and kicking it just like we're kicking it out of hand the next thing I want to touch on is the position that you're getting your hips into just before the time of impact. So if we have a look here, um, there's quite a big angle and we're almost sitting back as if we're on a stool um, sitting on the kick. We get a lot of power from our hips. Think about if I was to sit you on a seat from the exact same spot and tell you to kick the ball through the post, you wouldn't have that same power that you can get from your hips to put through the ball. If we now look at this example of Owen Farrell kicking the ball, you can really see that he's staying strong through his upper body and he's getting a lot of energy and power from those hips. Staying tall is a really good thing. It doesn't mean that we're not keeping our head down. It just means that we're keeping our body strong while staying in the kick and, I guess, keeping our head down. Another key reason why having big tall hips in the kick is important is sometimes we can get stuck and not be able to get into our follow through as easily. The dead giveaway is when you see the small little crossover in your follow through. I'll point it out now. So that's because our hips are sitting back and we're not able to promote ourselves to get through and win the half metre post ball. So if we take this back and we step back through it. If we just had those hips a little bit taller, our kicking foot can get through to target slightly easier, they're not sitting back, and we've got a more pr promoted hips. It also means that we can get into that hop, and instead of that hop going to the left, I'll just again get my circles out, instead of our hop going from here to here, where we've got to get out of the way and get out of the way of our own body, we can be really positive and hop from here and hop directly forward through to the target. It's a really nice open, it's something that when we watch kickers that look really smooth in their kicking technique, they're really open and smooth and they can get through that half metre post ball. So as you guys know, I always talk about winning the half metre pre-ball, let's take this back. So we've got to win this half metre pre-ball, so come in, get nice and strong, win this half metre, and then if we can win the second half metre, nice and strong with tall bodies, good hop, everything going towards the target, we would have won momentum in the kick. So I hope that helps point out just a little bit around compression and not getting too compact and compressed at the time of impact in your goal kick. Thanks for watching this little outtake of a goal kicking review. Just to show you what a review looks like, how it feels, the little things that I can point out with a new goal kicking technique. If you would like a video done, all you need to do is take three videos, one from the back, side and front of your goal kicking technique. Head to the link below to secure your online kicking review and I can get through it and we can get you kicking.